In this video, we'll cover running Slippery Chicken, starting a Lisp interpreter with or without Emacs, and loading the necessary files at the prompt. You can, of course, use the Slippery Chicken app if you are running on a Macintosh. But if you're not, you'll have to download an interpreter because Slippery Chicken is a Lisp application and it requires an interpreter to run. This could be any number of Lisp interpreters out there, for example, SBCL or CCL, which we use mainly, but also CLisp or Allegro CL, any of the Lisps out there should work. So the Lisp interpreter is what we call a REPL, a Read Evaluate Print Loop. There is no graphical user interface or GUI in Slippery Chicken. Rather, we have to write Lisp code in order to generate our pieces. We don't think that this is a disadvantage, however. We think this is one of the main attractions of working in this manner, as it gives you all the flexibility you need to generate the music as you want to. We find it easiest to use Emacs and Lisp with Slime, which interfaces between the text editing part and the Lisp interpretation part. So we run Lisp as an Emacs subprocess so that it's easy to run code as we develop it. To run Slippery Chicken in Lisp, we load its main file, all.lsp. This is located in the SC SRC folder. Slippery Chicken interfaces with common Lisp music for digital signal processing and common music notation for notation. Both of these packages are by Bill Schottstedt from Stanford University and they're both free. To connect to CLM and CMN, we load their main files too, and we do this before loading Slippery Chicken's all.lsp file. We can type at the Lisp prompt or load them into Lisp's initialization file, which will probably be your .swank file on your system. For CLM, we must also compile and load the nrev instrument, this is a reverberation instrument that we may want to use when writing our sound files. Once all of these files are loaded, we switch to the Slippery Chicken package at the Lisp prompt by typing SC in parentheses. That calls the Slippery Chicken function that takes us to the point where we're ready to program.